so the problem with current uh, version is this if I jump when I was still it's a uh, little alright it's uh, alright but if I jump while moving so we have that problem because we have set the moment specifically for this animation so now let's see how to fix that problem all right so let's go to the script now this is the part where we take care of the moment um, so so instead of uh, using a void here I'll add a return type to this so the reason to add a return type is uh, that uh, I'm going to use that return type to determine whether I'm moving my character to some place or it's just a jump and I'm not jumping up to any point so I'll make it int and if there is a hit well, if I'm actually moving the character through the code then I'll return one otherwise I'll well I don't need it I'll just return zero I'll add a comment to represent the jump time okay now in the character here I'll store that return type into like this jump type okay and then so so I'm going to play this jump one if there is a if the velocity is uh, larger than 0.1 actually if the character is moving or if the jump type is uh, larger than oh, is one like this now we will always have the second jump animation if there is a jump up point like this okay now and, and also the regular jumping will happen if I am not moving and if there is no jump up point like this so if I come to a place like this and jump I get the second animation all right now let's fix our moment to match that animation so yeah i'll when should i start moving let's see I should start much earlier than before so let's see let's check the animation first let's jump in let's jump in okay this one So I should start moment right here. Okay, uh, let's try setting where's the delay? Yeah, setting this delay to zero because we don't need any delay we will start moving right away I guess 
that was not fast enough. That's it. Also, if I'm running, I'll increase this uh, line cast length so that. Uh, this one mesh forward into one instead of one I have to use uh, first I need to determine if I am moving forward so this is the character movement and we can get the velocity too or what would be the velocity when I'm moving? What's the value? I don't remember the value. Right, let's print it. Rigid body velocity magnitude. It is like four. I'm getting closer to five, and when I am working, it is around below two, like 1.7, 1 1.5 to two. Okay, so I'll come in this part, and here. Um, dot speed multiplier equals um, rigid body velocity magnitude is larger than so this is a single line if larger than one Then return maybe three, otherwise, return one. Okay, so this is speed multiplier will have one, three, three, or one, depending if the character is moving, it will be three, otherwise, it will be one. Maybe we should call this one S length. Yeah. okay that's better so yeah i guess i'll stop this episode at this point 
and maybe if I have a better animation to my to better suit for this situation I'll try to use that in here uh, yeah and that's all for today so yeah as always the project files will be available uh, through my patron play page uh, if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club the link would be in the description below and project files will be free for uh, the members and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye oh almost forgot this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me